You guys see these electrical outlets like over here on the wall? I got two buttons, press one of them, it disconnects the circuit, press the other button, it reconnects it. You ever wonder why they're around wet locations like your bathroom, your kitchen, your laundry room, external places around your house like your garage or around the perimeter of your house? We're going to go over that today. They're a safety device. But why is it that you don't find these things around hospitals very often? It's coming up next, right here on Better Biomed. Hey everyone, welcome back to Better Biomed. Today, I'm going to try my absolute best to answer a question about these guys right here, GFCIs. Now this is a safety mechanism. It's an outlet, but it's also got an embedded safety mechanism. These things are used in wet locations or external locations of the house, like my garage. But this unit here is tied into multiple outlets, and they're actually kind of complex, and I'm not really going to go over that. But you should know what they do and how they relate to hospitals. So let's get right to it. Let's take a look. In a GFCI, you can see that I have a button called reset and a button called test. I press the test button, it trips, and hopefully when I press the reset, it'll latch. When a GFCI trips, it actually disables the entire outlet. So why is it you need a GFCI? Well, as you guys know, Inside the wall, there is hot, there's neutral, and there's ground. Well, what the GFCI does is it monitors the amount of current that go down the hot wire and the neutral wire. It doesn't really pay attention to ground at all. But any normal situation, you should have equal amounts of current behind hot and neutral. Because remember, Electricity is going like this, back and forth on both these wires, just like that. And if you have more current on your hot wire than on your neutral wire, it's because someplace down the line there is a short or an unsafe electrical condition. So that's what these things are doing, is they're monitoring the amount of current between these two wires, and any time your hot wire gets a spike in current, means that there's someplace there's a short. The reason you use this in wet locations is kind of obvious because wet locations you the user are a big old sack of meat and you conduct electricity quite well that would be when these two are shorted so what this thing does is it monitors these two wires and whenever it detects five milliamps worth of leakage which is five milliamps more current on this wire than this wire then it comes in and it disconnects it instantly and that is when it's tripped so that's what you are simulating by pressing the test button is you are simulating that 5 milliamp leak and by hitting reset you are saying the conditions are now safe I've fixed whatever it is it could be electrical wire in a pool of water it could be uh, an appliance that's plugged in by your sink in your house and it went into the sink it does happen it happens all the time guys it could be that you accidentally had something plugged in and you threw it into the bathtub with your special someone. <laughs> it doesn't work like that in the movies. All those electrical outlets that are in your bathroom are GFCI backed. And like my garage. And every once in a while I pull too many amps on something or something has a special condition and it trips this guy out. It doesn't like heavy machinery. But in a garage like this I have no choice. So what does this mean for hospitals? Well, in hospital bathrooms, you will probably still have GFCIs. But in patient rooms, if you can imagine why you would not want a GFCI. If somebody's on an oxygen generator or somebody plugs in a ventilator or something, you don't want that thing disconnecting its AC power under any circumstances. And just like in my previous video where I went over line isolation monitors, a line isolation monitor behaves like this guy. 
except it doesn't disconnect the power because you don't want to disconnect power in an operating room for any circumstances. Even if a device is catching on fire, you don't want to shut down the circuit because there could be a whole bunch of other stuff plugged into that circuit. So in a hospital, you'll usually have a line isolation monitor, which will alarm. You'll hear it. It'll be an auditory buzz plus usually a flashing light because you don't want to disconnect power. But depending on the facility, new facilities especially, in a non-patient care room, you will still probably see GFCIs floating around. And if you're a biomed, you might have to troubleshoot why you don't have power on this circuit here, but you do over here on these ones. And it might be because you're near a bathroom or near an external wall or something where they have a GFCI backing it up. Maybe you're near an entrance doorway or something. So just to notice guys, GFCIs, they are here to disconnect power when it meets an unsafe electrical condition and it only takes five milliamps worth of leakage. So the only thing that you really have to take out of it is there is a little circuit board inside this guy and it is constantly monitoring hot and neutral and there should be equal amounts of current on both these wires at all times. Because remember, the ground conductor doesn't carry current normally in a natural condition. It does carry current when it's an unsafe condition, but the GFCI will detect that because this black wire, the hot wire, will have more current than this one. And it instantly kills the power at 5 milliamps. So that, guys, is the GFCI and you will see them around. If not in a hospital, you'll see them in your personal life. I guarantee it. Thanks for watching, guys. And, of course, I could not sign off without my goofball son who is doing gymnastics right off camera. This whole time trying to distract me while I'm making this video. He wanted to be on this video so desperately. And uh, I didn't want to upset him. So, here he is. Right? You say bye? Bye. <laughs> That's it? That's all you got? You yeah. made me restart this video and that's all you're going to say? Say like, subscribe. Like, subscribe. And stay tuned because we got some excellent videos coming up for y'all. Right? Yeah. <laughs> all right.